it's fall my favorite season is finally back around so i figured i'd take you guys through what some of my mornings have been looking like recently of course not all of my mornings look like this but this is just what an average morning in my life looks like Good morning my beautiful people welcome back to another video today we are doing my updated morning routine my routine definitely has changed since I last filmed one of these because I think the last one that I filmed was a college morning so I'm gonna take you through a little morning and what my mornings have been looking like I just finished taking some of my morning vitamins and my seed and rehydrated I definitely like taking my mornings a bit slower but I'm gonna sit down now and do a little bit of morning journaling and devotions it looks like it's going to be such a beautiful day out the sky is very orangey pink this morning and i definitely have been having a little bit of a harder time waking up now that it's fall and the sun is starting to rise later i've been considering getting one of those hatch alarms but for now i'm doing okay i'm thankful that there's a lot of windows in here and like even if it's not super bright out it definitely gets really light in here really quickly but i'm gonna go ahead and sit down and do my journal routine now When it comes to my journal routine, it definitely depends on the day, but I always do a devotional even if I'm not doing a more extensive journal routine. So this is my current one by Sarah Young. These are my two journals that I have been going back and forth between. So if I just want to do a shorter journal, I normally do the five minute journal, but if I feel like I need to do more of a brain dump or prompt, this is just an empty journal with lined pages that I've been using. One of my absolute favorite things about this place in October mornings is the sunlight coming directly in. It just makes the mornings feel so bright, but also cozy and like, it just makes me so happy. been a morning workout person I feel like I flip back and forth between liking first thing get up and go mornings and go workout versus my like late afternoon workouts which has been more of the case recently 
but something that has changed in my routine that I really have been loving is going for a morning podcast walk. And I'll say that the fall weather has been a little bit sabotage because it has still been like 24, 25 degrees outside and warm. So it doesn't really feel like fall, but it definitely does give good morning walk weather because first thing in the mornings at like 7 38 a.m it's already 20 degrees so it's actually nice to go for a morning walk which is what i'm gonna go head out and do now breakfast I am going to make pumpkin protein pancakes basically that's the exact same recipe as my banana pancake recipe but instead of a banana we're going to add some pumpkin puree because it is fall so we are adding some fall spice to my breakfasts and honestly breakfast is probably my favorite meal of the day and this recipe is so super quick and easy I just do it in my Nutribullet blender and it takes literally like 10 minutes. The first step is always to blend the oats to make an oat flour. a dirty pumpkin chai iced this morning. I feel like it's just so warm out and as much as I love hot coffees in the morning, that walk really got me a little sweaty so we're doing an iced drink. I just do about a quarter of the cup of chai and then I pour the espresso right on top. And then this morning I'm gonna make a little bit of pumpkin cold foam. I like to sit down, eat my breakfast, and I've been really good about not having coffee until either after I've eaten breakfast or with breakfast, just to help lower cortisol levels and like that anxiety coffee jitters. But this is when I like to sit down and do a little bit of a daily plan, or if it's Monday, I do a weekly plan. But typically I'll sit down with my breakfast and my coffee and go through my planner, make a little to-do list of the tasks that I have to do for the day. And sometimes I might scroll on my phone a little bit. I try not to go on my phone while I'm eating, 
but this is about normally the time when I start picking up my phone anyways. So that's still something that I'm working on, but overall kind of just having like a planning, slowly getting into my work day. While I definitely don't do makeup every single day, I like to do some light makeup or it really depends on what I'm doing for that day. But most days I go for a lighter makeup look, especially if I have any Zoom meetings or just online meetings and I like feeling a little bit more put together. So like I said, some days I do a little bit heavier makeup depending if I'm going out and shooting any campaigns or anything like that or if I'm just at home taking meetings and doing admin work. I like to do a little bit of lighter makeup, but today we're gonna try a full face of Essence makeup. So I have a bunch of products here and I've already been using a bunch of their products for the last few months. A big thank you to Essence for partnering with me on today's video. I've been using their cover-up. I think this is like the fourth cover-up tube I've gone through. And then I also have like the Essence foundation down here that I use. Today I'm gonna go for a lightweight, minimal fall makeup look. Essence is best known for their award-winning Lash Princess Mascara, which I'm really excited to try out today. But all their products are also vegan, cruelty-free, and all of them are under $15. Most are under $10, and you can find them all at Shoppers Drug Mart, but I'll also have links down in the description box to all of the products as well. I am going to start with just a little bit of cover-up. Like I said, we're just going for a pretty light look today. So I'm going to use two different shades of concealer, one to kind of like spot cover-up and one to brighten. So the first one that I'm using is the shade 50 Warm Shell. And this has been my everyday like minimal makeup concealer for the last I want to say few months like if you guys have watched any of my previous videos where I've been doing my makeup you will have seen this little concealer bottle with the bright fun pink cap next I'm going in with their keep me covered concealer in the shade 40 shell so it's just one lighter and this is more so to just brighten up areas like my under eye and any other little spots that I want to really highlight and brighten And then next I'm going in with the Brighten Up Banana Powder. I'm just going to like swipe that under my under eyes, smile lines, anything that kind of creases that I put kind of like a double layer of concealer just to brighten up and set and mattify. Typically if I'm using foundation, I would use this powder as a setting powder. From here, I'm taking the Baby Got Blush and Baby Got Bronze Little Duo just to contour, give my face a little bit more dimension, and also you guys know I love my blush, so just like giving my face some more color as well. I have the bronzer in the shade 10 Cinnamon Spice, and then the blush is in the shade 30 Rosé All Day. Now I'm gonna do mascara. So I'm using their Lash Princess Award winning mascara. I'm super excited to try this out because this is one of the products that I haven't tried before. Okay, she's looking good. It gives length, it gives volume, it's not clumpy but it's also like very natural looking, which I love. I'm finishing with the Pure Nude Highlighter. I love a good highlighter and I love just like cheekbones, tip of my nose, nose bridge, basically anywhere that I really wanna highlight. And then the next step is I'm just going to take a little bit of the brow gel and just brush it through my brows just to give them a little bit more shape. And then the last, last step, I am just finishing up with the Extreme Shine Extreme Plumping Lip Gloss. 
I've tried some of their other shades of lip gloss, but not this one. It's like a very sheer shimmery pink and it has extreme plumping. So let's see how this goes. She's tingling a little bit, but very natural and really pretty. And then this is the finished makeup look. So super natural, perfect for, I think, like a work from home day, Zoom calls, or honestly, if you just like natural makeup more in general. But again, a big thank you to Essence for partnering with me on today's video. I will have all the links for you guys to shop down in the description box below. And again, all the products are available at Shoppers Drug Mart, but I'm gonna go get set up for my work day now because I have a bunch of admin work. <laughs> I think one of the biggest things that has changed my work days and my workflow, especially being self-employed, running my own businesses and working from home, is having productive work breaks versus at an office, you are chatting with coworkers, you're kind of having mini breaks all the time. So one thing that I found has really been helping me is having productive breaks. And so this means every hour to two hours to three hours, depending on how I'm doing in a workflow, getting up and like cleaning something, tidying up a little bit, just getting my body moving, getting up, taking a mental break, like five minutes from work to do something else and then hopping back in it. I'm gonna end off the video here because it is almost noon and I'm probably gonna head to the gym soon. So this kind of concludes my morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this fall autumnal, autumn null. Oh my gosh, so many of you made fun of me for saying autumnal. Autumnal in a Canadian accent just does not work. Autumnal, autumn, anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this fall morning routine. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.